Washington correspondent Dan Raviv. And Dan, is there a general consensus emerging on what new gun restrictions Congress may take up in either chamber and might be able to pass? And is the president now backing away from raising the minimum purchase age to 21? First, a uh, general consensus in Congress. The simple answer, David, is no. Uh, like everything in the Senate, and even more so in the House of Representatives, it's really up to the Republican majority, and Republicans have not united around one set of steps. Some Republicans thought of ways uh, to expand background checks for gun buyers, and that was blocked by other Republicans. How about banning the bump stock? Well, as you heard, President Trump says he won't wait for Congress. He'll do it by executive order, uh, classifying the bump stock as an illegal machine gun. The gun rights lobby, the NRA, disagrees with the president but won't try to stop him on that. As for the president saying that the minimum age to buy a gun should be raised from 18 to 21, Donald Trump has stopped saying it. The NRA is dead set against it. Yes, Trump said that sometimes you need to fight the NRA, but in this case, on the age 21 idea, it appears like he's not fighting. David. Dan, President Trump seemed to ignore the criticism from Governor Inslee on arming teachers, but what are others at the White House saying about the criticism from teachers and other politicians and law enforcement? Others at the White House, well, I'm thinking of the White House staff, and in many ways they also are not united. Uh, but you know what they're, they're often trying to do? They're, they're trying to figure out what does the boss want. They're loyal to the president, and so they'd like to have a clearer idea what does he favor when it comes to school safety and maybe some gun control. Even Ivanka Trump, when she was asked about arming teachers, she hesitated. She said she wasn't really sure, but then loyally said it's a good idea that deserves to be discussed. Anyway, aside from giving his opinion, repeatedly that there won't be any more school shootings if crazy people with guns know that there are teachers inside who have guns. The president has not suggested there's any federal legislation for that. In fact, he said it's up to the states. So what national moves would he favor? Okay, well, getting rid of the bump stocks, maybe expanding background checks. And by the way, he also said he liked the good old days when there were mental hospitals and asylums where police could nab crazy people and lock them up even before they do anything illegal. Now, no one seems to be suggesting legislation. It's really like Donald Trump is giving his opinions, sharing his gut reactions to America's latest massacre. Well, if he's waiting for Congress to do something innovative and heroic, it wouldn't be the first time that a lot of people are waiting for Congress to do something. David? Mm. Dan Raviv, our senior Washington correspondent. Dan, thank you.